Alright, so we've captured live food now in this trap. And you can see we've got her by the foot and she's still alive. So now we don't have to cook her right in a second if we don't want to because live food never spoils. But because we're doing a video on small game processing, we're going to whack her. Afternoon, guys. Dave Canterbury with Pathfinder School along with Jeremy Janey. We've got our pheasant that we caught in our trap and we had it staked out around camp. Real simple to keep birds alive. You can just tie a string around their foot, drive a stake in the ground like a tent stake or something, tie them off to it, get back to them whenever you're ready. So we built our fire over here to get ready to cook this pheasant. Now Jeremy's going to walk you guys through how to process a game bird very simply and very easily. Um, remember that survival is a calorie game. You're always trying to conserve your calories and conserve your hydration. When you're dealing with birds, if you don't have a pot big enough to scald the bird or an easy way to pluck the feathers off the bird, that's going to require a lot of time and energy to do that. So in this case, we're going to skin this pheasant instead of trying to pluck it. And then we'll use that entire skin. We can use for bait if we want to for another trap. We can also use the feathers and things like that to make flies with. Opportune time for a plane to fly over my right now. At any rate, so Jeremy's going to walk you guys through this and I'm going to film it. Stay with us and we're going to process this small game bird and show you exactly step by step how to do that. All right, we have the pheasant here that we caught earlier. Uh, the easiest way to dispatch all birds is obviously just to remove the head. It's the most humane way of dispatching the animal. And in this, I'm going to use an axe. You can use a knife, you know, sharp rock, whatever you want. All right, one thing we wanted to mention is uh, when you remove the bird's head, there is going to be some twitching and some bleeding. Uh, that's just normal. Uh, just, you know, lay them to the side for a few minutes and then, you know, let them bleed out. But they're, they're not alive once you remove the head. So, all right, to start, I just generally go right below the rib cage. Find me a spot. I, as you can see here, pinch the skin up. Maybe. All right. Cut myself a small hole to where I can get my knife in there. skin towards the vent. And you want to also remove the wings. There's not a lot of meat on a pheasant. It's mostly the breast. But in a uh, wilderness self-reliant situation, you want to try to use everything you can. And a lot of this we could actually, uh, you know, scrape as much meat off as we could, even use the bone to make a broth.
once you get it pulled loose from the back of the bird, it just comes off like a sock. Something I do want to point out here is this is the crop. You want to make sure you pull this out as far as you can and cut it off and just throw it away because this, this has seed and, and berries or whatever that they, the bird has been eating. You don't want to have that mixed in with the meat. little thing. Go on. As I mentioned earlier, the largest portion of meat on a pheasant is the breast. That's what I'm removing here. Neck. It's the heart. Now we could cook this pheasant up a variety of ways. We could skewer it on sticks. We could build ourselves a rack. In this case, we're going to take advantage of some local resources and available trash. We've got a grate that looks like it came out of an old refrigerator here. It was found up in the woods. We're going to go ahead and use that for a cooking grate. We keep that around our base camp area. So we're going to go ahead and cook our pheasant on that. Now if this breast should break it or just like it is, just flatten it out. You can even cut the wishbone in half if you wanted to, Jeremy. Just have. split it right down the middle. Yeah, let me throw the rest of the stuff on the grate and then we'll, we'll get to that. You eat the neck? I don't. I usually stew it. Throw it on there? Yeah, stow it on there, we'll cook it up. We can. It could be stewed later. What about this stuff, Steve? The lungs um, or and the, the, or the, the heart. heart and the liver, you might want to use that smaller grate. <laughs> Lay it on top. Okay. That way, don't fall through it. Yep. Another piece of local trash. Split the wishbone. Oh man, that's a tough bird. <laughs> Just about like that and then throw it yep. on there. That's a good spot. Move that neck, yeah. Come on. There we go. There you go. Perfect. Looking good, man. Looking good. 
a little seasoning on there out of the pack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. All right, Jeremy, what's well, been on there for a while, man? Why don't you take your knife and cut that breast open and see what color the meat is, man, and see if it's cooked or not. If it's cooked, it should be a white color, you know, just like a chicken breast, mm -hmm. pretty much. If it's cooked through or not, we'll find out here in a second. Maybe. Over here, something a little more solid. Yeah, that rack's not real solid at the moment. How's it looking? Not too bad. Might cut a little deeper into the meat, just yeah. to kind of... I think we there you go. Open that up and see what that looks yeah. like right there. That's pretty good. It's not bad. It's pretty juicy, man. It might mm -hmm. take a little bit longer. Yeah, Those legs are probably done, I'd say. We could probably yeah. pull them off the fire and cook the breast a little longer. We're going to have a nice little feast here pretty quick, huh? Yes, we will. All right, so we got a pretty good bounty on the table right now. We got a nice breast, a couple nice legs there. We got a neck, we got a couple organs. And, uh, we're getting ready to chow down and see how this stuff tastes, so stay with us. We're going to eat some here in a second. <laughs> Alright, so Jeremy and I are going to try some of this pheasant now and see how we did cooking it. I'm going to try one of these thighs and let Jeremy have out that white meat. You want that hard? No, go ahead. All right, definitely. <laughs> Got a little sweet flavor to it. Seems like that meat sweet. Oh man, that's a really good meat. Well, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. Here with Jeremy Janey, enjoying some nice pheasant. The first in a series of processing small game animals and we appreciate your views we appreciate your support we'll be back with another video as soon as we can